now we're going to do some examples um, for circumference and area of circles. First, I'd like to begin with a little bit of a review of our definitions and naming the different segments in a circle. If we're going to name the center of circle P, well, it kind of even just tells you that point P is the center. We want to name three radii. Remember a radius is a segment that has one end point at the center and another on the circle. So our three are going to be PA, PB, and PD. All segments. Name a diameter. Just through the center, that's AB. Two chords. Well, remember, a diameter is a chord by definition. Its endpoints are on the circle. And the other chord is this one here, AD. Moving on to some circumference problems. Let's remember our two formulas for circumference. It's essentially the same thing because 2 times r is your diameter. But we want to find the circumference of a circle with each of these radii that are given. So they don't draw the picture, but they tell you that this is the radius. So radius is equal to 3, radius is equal to 34. The directions here say to round your answer to the nearest tenth. <clears throat> Nay, I'm just going to keep my pi in the answer because I like it that way. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r, 2 times pi times 3. Remember, you can multiply your numbers. The order for multiplying doesn't matter. 6 pi centimeters. 2 times pi times 34. 2 times 34 is 68 pi millimeters. Same on the right side. Moving down for number 9, we want to find the exact circumference of each circle. This circle is inside a square. Your square has side 14, which means that that is your diameter. So here we know that our diameter is equal to 14. If we want to know circumference, we can use this formula. Circumference is equal to pi times diameter, which is pi times 14. Circumference is 14 pi inches. Below it, here we have a triangle. I'm going to zoom in so we can see it a little better. Okay. So here we have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. So let's notice this picture here. This is 5, this is 5. Here is your diameter. This is a right angle. I don't think we did it yet, but there is a theorem that says that if you have an angle that is inscribed in this angle here is in a semicircle, then this is going to be 90 degrees. We look at these guys over here, and they mark them to be 90 degrees. Let's mark this guy also. 5 and 5 are the sides. Well, here we have an isosceles right triangle, which means these guys are 45. It's a 45, 45, 90. And we want to get from the side to the diameter. And the relationship in a 45, 45, 90 is radical 2. We multiply when we go bigger. So your diameter here is equal to 5 radical 2. <laughs> Sorry. Lost my train of thought. 5 radical 2. So my circumference formula is going to be pi times d. Plug that in. So 5 radical 2 pi inches. And that's what your circumference is equal to. And the ones on the right side follow the same. You might be using Pythagorean theorem, whatever the case may be. Okay. Now I'm going to skip to the third page that we're looking at today. And I'm going to jump right to the um, very end, where we have some area problems. Otherwise, it was just circumference in the packet, and you can move along. Number seven, find the area of a circle with this circumference. Well, we are talking about these two formulas. Let's write them down. Circumference formula and area formula. Area is pi r squared. 
if we are going to be relating these two and showing similarities or using the same information, then we're going to probably want the circumference formula that has a radius. That way we can kind of share that number back and forth. So I'm going to go with 2 pi r for my circumference formula. Okay, so these are the two formulas we're using. They tell us that the circumference is 20 pi. So this gets plugged in over here. Well, there's my 20 pi is equal to 2 pi r. We can divide out the pi's and they cancel. And now I have 20 is equal to 2r. Divide by 2 and 10 is equal to r. So my radius is 10. As soon as I know my radius is 10, I'm going to plug that in over here. 10 squared. So my area is equal to 100 pi. How many units are units? As I look at A in number 8, I see that I have two shapes. Hopefully you see two shapes. I see my square, 4, 4, 4, 4, because these are all diameters, right? A diameter also of the circle. So the two shapes I see are a square and a circle. I only want the shaded area. So hopefully you see that the larger shape the outside shape is the square, and the inside shape that is not shaded is the circle. So what we are going to do is the larger shape square and subtract out the circle, and that's what we're doing. So if our whole square was shaded, we're subtracting out the circle. Yeah, it's two halves of a circle, but I'm not going to do two halves because together it's a whole circle. Well, my square formula is side squared circle formula is pi r squared. Well, my side is 4. 4 times 4, that's 16. Radius. Well, let's see, the diameter is a side, so that's a 4. My radius is 2. 2 squared, 4, so that equals minus 4 pi. And that's my answer. I could take this and I could plug it into a calculator and get some decimal because of course I have a pi, or we can leave it like this, inches squared, and that is an exact answer. Exact answers do not multiply out your radicals, if you have radicals, and they don't multiply out the pi. This doesn't say exact, but I'm gonna keep it here because it's a little easier and less work for me, and I don't have a calculator within arm's reach. Uh, I am gonna do B with you also. So for this one here, hopefully you recognize that this semicircle, if I had a scissor, I could cut this piece out and glue it over here. So in the end, it's as if I just have an entire solid rectangle. So remember your area formula for a rectangle is length times width, 3 times 2, and that's 6. So the area for this guy is 6 square inches.